हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वंस अगेन वेलकम टू बी एस पी सोल्यूशन डॉट कॉम अमित शर्मा विद अ न्यू एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ऑरिकल प्लानिंग इन टूडे एग्जाम्पल आई शो यू अ लाइव एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हाउ टू यूज रेस्ट ए पी आई सो बाई यूजिंग दिस एग्जाम्पल आई एम गोइंग शो यू हाउ यू कैन कॉल बिजनेस रूल फ्रॉम रेस्ट ए पी आई राइट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड लेट एस फॉर अंडरस्टैंड द रिक्वायरमेंट सो आई प्रिपेयर थ्री एक्सेल यू नो शीट थ्री शीट्स अंदर वन three tabs in a one sheet and the first example is expected output so the calculation is fairly simple i am calculating profit after tax the one which are to be calculated i mark with gray color okay so and the one marked with white color is user input so i am going to calculate gross margin which is just a sales minus cost of goods sold then i am calculating sales tax which is 5% of my sales and therefore i mark with a gray color which entails this is to be calculated Then I'm going to calculate total taxes, sales tax minus federal tax, and then I'm calculating my total expenses, which is my, you know, electricity expenses and car washing, which in turn aggregates to my utility expense, and total expenses are all types of expenses, and then I'm calculating my profit, third party TP means third party, so we have a profit for inter company as well in order to differentiate. Inter company profit and third party profit. I prefix third party. So gross margin minus total expense is my profit third party. And then I'm going to calculate profit after tax, which is my profit minus total taxes. So this is an expected output. Now, in order to test this output, you know I created a, a smart view, and this is my business rule. A very simple business rule. See. In order to make sure the calculation take place for the certain intersection, I apply multiple fix expression. Now my assumption over here is that thus this calculation being performed from forecast, and my forecast is we are getting calculated forecast at monthly, and it is started from current month plus one. That's my forecast cycle, and my example current month is assumed to be a February month, so current month plus one naturally become March. So the calculation is taking place from current month plus one March to December. Therefore, I apply remove function with relative function again for the sake of testing. I'm running for only one entity and one intersection. Step first, we are calculating gross margin, which is sales minus cost of goods sold. Right, very simple. Sales minus cost of goods sold. The same thing I copied over here so that it easy to read. So gross margin, sales minus cost of goods sold, profit after tax. Gross margin minus total taxes. Gross margin minus total taxes. Then the tax is going to be calculated. Rather, I should change the order. We should first calculate uh, gross minus minus total expenses. Correction. Gross margin minus total expenses. This I get profit after tax. And then I am calculating sales tax, which is my Uh, I put a hard coded value over here, five percent. You could also use a variable. So sales multiplied by five percent is my sales tax. That is a correction. Okay, and then total tax is sales tax minus sales tax plus federal tax. Total tax is equal to sales tax plus federal tax. And then we are calculating profit after tax. Profit third party minus total taxes. Profit after tax. So this is a business rule which is already exists. Now what I want, I can call this business rule. By using two ways, right? Let me put some number, and uh, I'll put some number. Sales, one hundred minus cost of goods sold. Sales tax to be calculated, and I put electricity expense and car washing expense. Do the same thing for April. For the sake of testing, I'm running for April as well. Now, what I want. one way i can call this business rule directly see this i can call this business rule directly right so gross margin profit third party sales tax and profit after tax and total tax these five measures are to be calculated it is done let's check the output the calculation done 100 minus 20 80 5 per 100 is 5 and so on All calculation took place. This is one way. Now I want to do the same job again, but this time I want to call it through REST API, right? I want to run a REST API, and let's see how 
it take place so in order to use rest api step one you need to create a connection so i go to application tools then i'll call connection i've created connection for my a web connection let me edit it and show you what did i do just click on job uh, the connection name can be anything i've given a name called job and this is my rest api uh you know, the link so i'm calling rest api and i'm calling jobs the one which we created this is also business rule is also job so the url application rest api this is version 3 application name of application vision and jobs okay and then you provide a credential so rest api is going to invoke this job this url with these the given credential so create a connection next step i'll you know call my business rule using these connections so i created one more business rule over here the name of the business rule is called call rest api underscore profit after tech see this so i call rest http response and i create an object of http response class app operation dot application dot get connection is the name of my job the connection which i just now created over here and this is a post function actually some function get some of them are post since we are executing the rule there's a post function and then you pass an header and a body now look at this in my body section the type of rule the type of job is a rule it could have other type of job as well but this is a rule business rule job and name of business rule is the same calc profit of a tax right so we need to convert into a string type so every time i run this job this rest api call it will in turn call my business rule and the calculation take place right let's see this so i remove all the number the calculation should be taken place once again okay sales i put for march and april march and april the calculation will take place again this hash missing i put some numbers so that we can see live how calculation taking place so the name of my business rule is called call rest api pat i can invoke from here option one or i can invoke from here as well so i'm calling rest api which is in turn calling my business rule oh so you can run it from anywhere let me run from here call rest api call rest api let us sort by timestamp sort by name call rest api invoke this rule it doesn't have any argument so directly call it i ha i hard hard coded the sale text percentage business rule executed successfully now let's refresh i got the output 300 minus 50 250 5 percent of 300 is 15 15 plus 50 65 and so on electricity plus utility expenses 100 so you can look at the variance as well right so i use only for january month you could use for other month as well so this is how by using rest api you can call business rule as well okay. in the future example i show you you can use the rest api to call other functions i'll show you how you can call the rest api uh, in order to perform data load or meta load or load job there's one more example I talk about where you can call REST API from Excel macros. Okay, so as a user, you don't have to worry about you just hit one button and rest everything will take place on the fly. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining today's session. Should you have any training or consulting requirement, please reach out to bispsolutions.com.